Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create um, database tables using uh, GPA. So let's start. So right click this package, then let's add a Java package. Then let's name it uh, entity. Then right click this package, then uh, select Java class, then let's name it a uh, rule. Then here, let's uh, import the annotation from Lombok, which is Sitar and Gitar. Then Gitar. Then uh, let's import also the to string because uh, it requires if we try to um, troubleshoot what is wrong with this class, so you ca we can. Uh, call this uh, to string so let's uh, declare here and uh, let's add also the entity because we create entity of this class entity this one the box persistence then this is the name of our table the default is rule uh, this is the name of our table then next is let's uh, add um, instance variable here private or what we call fields in the uh, tables in the database so uh, our type here is long then id then private then string then rule then let's um add here and fission so if we save this uh, it will error because it requires a uh, serializable interface so let's add here to make it um, acceptable so let's import id from jabox resistance so if you see that okay oh what happened so my computer is delayed so next is let's add here a uh, generation type uh, which is uh, no, generated value generated value then here um, strategy that kind of um, generation generation type which is this one identity then in in my sequel uh, this is uh, auto increment so this um, the default length of this one is bar char we're using uh, the length of this is to 55 then let's uh, create default here uh, default constructor which is rule then here the next is let's create a constructor for our CRUD, so public um, rule, then the parameter which is a uh, long ID, then string rule, then this uh, ID equal ID, then this uh, rule equal uh, rule, so control save. So we didn't need to add uh, add a uh, sitter and gator because we have a uh, gator and sitter. Okay, so let's try to to see if it is created. So here in our Hibernate, let's refresh this. Uh, refresh. So we don't have yet a table here. So let's try to run to generate the uh, table rule. So let's run to see. Okay, so this successfully Okay, then refresh so we have rule here. This is our entity uh, Whatever you create here in our entity it will automatically Generate to your database table. So let's add here another table here. This is uh, user So here, uh, let's copy this import Copy then 
paste here and persistence entity okay then here uh, let's copy the rule id this one copy then okay then save the next is our uh, fields here in our um user is uh, first name surname surname and password so private string uh, first name then private string uh, surname private private string um, username then private string um, password um i will not discuss deeper about this depend on um, gpa because um this it will uh, time consuming so if you like this uh, topic just comment to this video if you let me to create a uh, tutorial of this uh, only GPA okay so here uh, let's add here um, at so let's uh, example let's uh, put this uh, unique so let's um, put here column then what is the column description which is unique then the, it returned to boolean which is true it should be unique uh, value then let's try to run the project uh, okay um okay let's before that we need to add um, default uh, user this is not necessary when you create a constructor in creating entity the important is these fields uh, this a uh, constructor used for the crud or, uh, or um, okay. crud uh, public I mean public user public user then uh, we have parameter here which is long ID then stream first name then stream uh, surname then stream username then stream uh, password then okay so let's try to run this project run and let's see what is the changes Okay, there's an error here because um, it will um, um, warning because we have a created rule here and then the Hibernate uh, read this one that this uh, rule is already exist. So let's change that later. Uh, how to configure that? Refresh. So we have here user. So this is our design. We have um, a relationship this. So let's view to um, MySQL. So hibernate here. Okay. So we have um, so here we have a relationship between uh, role and user. This is a user. Many user has one role. So mini two one. So let's go back. So let's change the settings of our persistence here. The source because uh, we we need, we create uh, we design the database. So let's change this. So in our properties uh, here. So change to drop and create. So okay.
it's changed to drop and create control C. Then, okay. So back to user. So there's a relationship, a relationship between role and user, which is many to one. So many user has one role. So let's um, many to one. This one resistance. What is what? Why? It's okay. Then um, at join column this one then let's put here a name then why it's okay so let's um finish this then rule id then next is let's add um instance variable here private role then rule okay so let's add here our parameter here is rule then rule okay then let's return to the um instance value so id then equal id then this uh, first name equal to first name then this um surname to surname then this um username to username this uh, password equal password then this rule equal rule so this is easy so let's try to save run okay so there's a warning here that your table uh is connected and already exist so let's try to view uh, refresh if you are using sql yog it's okay this is a tool to create uh, to create query so where is it okay hibernate then rule then we have here additional column rule id which is it has a relationship it is this is the symbol of this infinity means this is many to one so i hope you learn from this video guys um if you like this um like this video so see you next video in next video i will uh, create a data access model so for this to create crude application so bye see you next video